I'm so glad you're here for this total body workout. We're going to be working our glutes, our quads, biceps, our back, and our abs. I've got a couple sets of dumbbells. I'm going pretty heavy today. We're not doing high reps, so don't be afraid to grab those heavier weights. And let's get started with our warm up. So roll your shoulders down and back. Bring your feet a little wider than hip width, and let's just bring your hands down above the knees, and we'll start to do a little standing cat cow. So side view is like this. We're just gonna round, tucking the tailbone under, and then press the tailbone away, lift your heart. We just wanna start to open up some of the tight spaces in our body. I know our low backs can get a little bit tight, and then just notice if you're carrying any tension up in those shoulders feeling like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders, and let's just kind of let that go. So then coming onto one foot, kind of getting oriented to a little bit of balance work that we might be doing later. We're gonna just roll out our ankles, so plant your toe and just bring your heel out into a nice big circle. This is a time to just check in with yourself, notice what you're feeling in your body, bring your awareness to any areas that might be holding on to tension and just give yourself permission to take care of those things and take care of yourself in this moment. So making those nice big circles and then let's bring the feet out even wider and we're just gonna let the arms be heavy as we start to bend into one knee and the other. So we're gonna, just, again, looking for a little bit more freedom and flexibility in our body. If you've been sitting at a desk or maybe it's early in the morning and you're just feeling a little bit stiff, just let this be a time to kind of unwind all those spots. Okay, now we're gonna start our first little practice movement, getting into a squat. So imagining that you've got a chair behind you, lower down into some nice easy squats. And after doing a couple of practice, we're gonna start to open up the upper back, open up the chest. So anchor one elbow to the inside of your knee and then open up the other arm following your hand with your gaze. I'll do my last couple sideways for you so that you can see what that side view would look like. Sitting way back and opening on up. And then let's go into a split stance. So up on the toe of the back foot, front foot is planted. We're gonna drive our hips forward a little bit, raise those arms up so you'll feel a nice stretch here in the front side of your hip flexor. And then fly the arms back as you press the heel down on the back leg. So big breath in and exhale, let it go. This is a great time to set an intention for your workout today. Think about what kind of energy you wanna bring in, bring into your workout and bring into your day. And just imagine with every inhale, that you're letting that energy just infuse your entire body, every cell, just bringing in more of what you want out of your workout, out of your day, out of your life. So just flying those arms, big breath in. And I welcome you if you've noticed any areas of your body that need just a little bit more attention and more stretching, please take some time and take care of those. We're gonna get into a little bit more intense movement now, continuing our warm up. So we're not picking up our weights just yet, but we're gonna to start to really warm up our core and our glutes. So find a plank with me and then set your knees onto the floor. We're gonna do a little leg lift, bent knee leg lift. So notice if you can bring your attention to your glute, you wanna to start to wake that area up and let's keep those arms nice and long. Keep your ribs lifted away from the mat and your neck long. So we wanna avoid kind of slouching down. Let's do about six to eight and then switch. So we really wanna keep that nice long spine. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and bring your focus to your glute, just creating a little bit of heat right there. Good, okay. Coming onto our back. I wanna warm up our core a bit. And this is sort of a check-in for a movement that we'll get to later when we're doing our strength routine. So take a nice inhale, exhale, drive your rib cage down, press your low back into the floor. Let's start nice and easy with a low march. So this is a good little litmus test as to how you're doing in your low back. If you've got low back issues or pain, 
Um, sometimes these leg lowering exercises can add some stress. So you're welcome to take a rolled up towel or a little small pillow and tuck it under your hips if that um, applies to you. And if you're feeling ready, whether you've had your hips elevated or not, let's go into a full leg lowering. So notice your rib cage. You want to keep those ribs packed down. Inhale on the way down, exhale back up. If you're sort of losing that engagement here on the front side of your core, take a break, reset. See if you can do the movement without losing that bracing. And you're always welcome to come back to this version right here. So let's just finish these up. Good. And we're going to come back onto our um, hands and knees. So join me here. And we're going to go into a plank with an arm lift. So I want you to think about your shoulder blades, heating up that space in between. Again, make sure your neck stays nice and long. Keep your hips in line with your heels and your head if possible. Let's do two more. Last one. And then let's take just a quick child's pose. Breathing in, unloading the arms. All right, we've got three more exercises to do before we get into our strength work. We're gonna get our heart rate up a little bit, really get everything nice and warm. So join me back in a plank. We'll go slow for the first couple. We're gonna step one foot forward and lift our arms. So again, squeezing between the shoulder blade, plant your hand, step back to plank, other side. So it's like you're moving your hand to get out of the way of your foot. Okay, let's do four each side. So I'm gonna start to pick up the pace. Feel free to go at whatever tempo feels good for your body. And if this doesn't feel accessible to you, you're welcome to hold a plank or do whatever version does feel accessible to you. So make this work out your own, okay? All right, again, for each side, we're gonna skate. So going from one side to the other. Just for each side, I know it doesn't feel like very many, and now finding in that nice wide sumo squat position, we're gonna do our sumo squat hop. So landing in that sumo, and then doing a little double hop in the middle. Let's do eight all together. Last one here. Okay, that's round one, let's do one more round. So finding our plank position, walk those hands out. We're gonna come forward with that foot. So alternate idea would be like a mountain climber, okay? So make it your own, but I do love the upper body aspect of this one. Good, walk it up, get ready to skate eight times for each side. And sumo squat hop, here we go. Squat, hop. Hopefully, your heart rate's starting to come up. You can hear mine is. Last one. Okay, so time to grab some water and get ready for our strength workout. So if you've done any of my other workouts, you know sometimes I add a ton of variation through three consecutive sets. This time, I'm gonna keep it pretty straightforward. We've got some good classic exercises, some of my favorites. They get me results over and over and over again. So we're gonna stick with these classics. We got three sets. So I'll give you some challenges along the way, but our first one is a goblet squat. We just need one weight. So I'm gonna go pretty heavy. We wanna hold that weight right up to our chest. Bring our feet into a nice comfortable squat stance. I'm going just a hair wider for this so that I have room to get my hips below my knees. So this is a challenge. I know it's a mobility challenge. Let's aim for six to eight reps. Keeping your spine nice and long. Work with whatever range you have available to you in your body. Very important, I want you to try to keep your heels connected to the ground so that you can push through the entire bottom of your foot. Nice, okay. That was about eight for me. Now I'm gonna grab my other weight and we're gonna do an upper back exercise. It's a row. So side view, I'm gonna hinge forward, make sure my core is tight. We did all that core warm up. 
and I'm gonna bring my arms out a little bit wide. So my palms are facing back and I'm squeezing between my shoulder blades, but I'm not letting my shoulder creep up to my ear, okay? So again, six to eight reps. Oh yeah. Okay. I failed to mention in the beginning, you're going to need a chair or something for one variation of this next exercise. I'll show you two options. Option one, coming to our split stance, we practice in our warm up. We're gonna sink down and up. So this is option one. I'll remind you at the break to go look for a chair or something and I'll show you the second option when we go to set number two. But let's stay with this. Push your hips slightly back and aim to keep that front leg shin really vertical. Okay, other leg, switching it up. Make sure you're feeling nice and tall and balanced before you start to move. Shift your hips back and then press the floor away from you. Oh yeah, I'm getting warm already. I'm gonna wish I'd turned up the AC before I started this. <laughs> so, nice. Hopefully you're feeling just that good. Burn getting started. Trust me, I know I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. This is definitely a challenging workout, but you're gonna feel it in the best way. Okay, coming back down to the floor, I'm gonna grab a slightly lighter weight for this next exercise and we're gonna break it down. So we practiced in the warm up a leg lowering exercise. So remember that one. Remember that cue about keeping your ribs down and keeping your low back connected to the floor. Now I've got my weight, I'm kind of cradling it in the palm of my hands. And without letting my ribs pop up, I'm just gonna reach my arms up super long overhead and pull. So we wanna use our arms as long levers to target the muscles of our back. So if you've got that down, you can come with me and add a leg lowering element. So this is a little more advanced to put these together Think about you and what works for your body and think about what you can do with your best possible form. So it could be that this combination works great, but if you're feeling like you're giving up one thing or another, like you're not quite doing the upper body work with as good form, when you add the legs or when you're doing the legs, you can't quite keep the core engaged, let's do them one at a time. So absolutely do what's best for you. So. That's our first set. We've got two blocks of strength to do. So we're gonna do three sets of the first block and then we'll move on to the second block. So grab a quick sip of water. Think about how that went the first time through. If you need to grab different weights or if you wanna make any adjustments, this is a great opportunity to do that. So let's get back to our goblet squat. Single weight right at our chest, shoulders down and back, chin stays tucked. Plant your feet and imagine you're trying to rip the floor apart. If you're on carpet, trying to put a rip in the carpet between your feet. So let's sit down and then push the floor away. Inhale down, exhale push. Make sure that your knees are tracking over your toes. Spine staying nice and long, no rounding. Again, six to eight reps. Nice steady tempo. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Woo, okay, that might have been a bonus rep. Not totally sure. Okay, bent over rows. I'll show you my side view again. Tuck your chin, ribs tight, hinge back. Pull those weights up towards your ribs. You got this. Notice I'm doing a little pause at the top. Just kind of making my back hold those weights there for just a beat. Couple more. Oh yeah. Woo. Okay. I'm gonna set these down, catch my breath for a second. Need to get some fresh air. So it is warm in here, let me tell you. Okay, split squats, oh yeah. I told you I would show you the variation. So if you've got a bench or a chair, you can try this one with me. So first round, we had our feet both on the floor. 
Second option is to plant the top of your shoe. You can also tuck your toes, that's a comfort thing. Get nice and tall over your front leg and then sit back and stand up. Notice my shin again. We want that shin on the front leg to be vertical. So we're protecting our knee by keeping our knee stacked over our ankle. Oh my goodness, boy, do I feel this one. Uh, oh yeah, boom, other leg. So resetting, getting nice and tall to begin, set those shoulders, sit back and stand up. Woo. Inhale down, exhale press. You got this. Oh yeah. Couple more. Oh yeah, good. Thanks for bearing with me and doing these with me. <laughs> these are tough. This is my workout. I'm not just doing this for show today. <laughs> this is definitely my workout. So, grabbing that single weight. Again, this is where you get to make some choices and take care of your body. Ribs down, low backs connected to the floor. Option one, upper body focus. Option two, add the legs, one at a time. Option three, add the legs two at a time. So this is the more advanced. If your core is feeling strong and prepared, go for it, give it a try. If you start to lose form or feel any pain in your low back, go back to one of the other versions, please. And boom, okay. Woo! Okay, real sweat, I promise. Okay, grab some water. Round three, just like that, we're on our final set. So you get to choose your challenge on these. Grab the weight that feels challenging. You know this is the last time through on this set of exercises. So make it count, make it count, okay? Shoulders down and back. I'll show you the side view of my goblet squat. Sitting back and pressing the floor away. If your weights feel a little light to you, I know we don't all have a complete weight set at home. You can make it harder by slowing it down. You can add some pauses in there. Like you can go all the way down, come halfway up, all the way down and push the floor. So make it your own, you guys. Make it your own, make it hard. Now nice and slow. You're also welcome to hit pause and add a couple extra reps. If that feels like the right challenge for you right now, make it your own, okay? I actually have no idea how many that was. <laughs> but hopefully you had time to do your six to eight and we'll get into our rowing. So ribs tight, set your core, pull and release. Notice I'm controlling the tempo on the way down not just letting those arms fall with gravity. So building strength on both sides of the movement. Couple more for me. And boom. Okay, choose your challenge. We've got split squats. So both feet on the floor or bring over your bench or your chair, something stable and sturdy. And here we go, last set. So choose your challenge. Make sure you're nice and tall over the standing leg before you begin. Ooh, <laughs> distracted by my, my pets. And if you notice, I'm not always looking at the camera. <laughs> this is because I'm focusing on my movement being correct. So I wanna keep my neck in neutral and avoid rotating and getting out of position by turning to the side. <laughs> so please accept my apologies for not always making eye contact with you, but I hope you're also at home keeping your gaze ahead, keeping your neck in a nice healthy position and doing your best possible form. So setting up, second side, inhale down, exhale, press the floor away. 
You got this. Oh, yeah. I opened the door for fresh air, but <laughs> it's just as warm outside as it is in here. So you're just going to have to enjoy seeing me all sweaty. And hopefully you're sweating with me. <laughs> OK. Final set, pullovers with or without the leg lowering, OK? So on your back, choose your weight. Make those arms super long and locked out. Ribs are tight. Check in with yourself here. If this feels good, add the legs, one or both. You got this. You are just a few reps away from a nice water break. Oh yeah. And this will be my last one right here. Boom. Okay. Ah, how you doing? I really hope you're sweaty like I am. This works. <laughs> I often have conversations with people about, you know, how hard it feels when you're strength training, like how you rate your perceived exertion because that's something when I'm programming workouts for people and I give them their workouts in an app and then they're supposed to give me feedback at the end of their workout like how hard was that what's your rating of perceived exertion and it's usually kind of different than what you're used to if you've done a lot of cardio workouts or if you're a runner it's like there's moments that are very intensely hard and then there's moments of recovery so what we want to find are those moments that feel intensely hard where you're really pushing yourself and then you can allow yourself to recover. And then you kind of find that balance with your strength training. But man, it works. It gets your heart rate up and everything. So that was your break. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are moving on. We've got some more of the same type of muscle group action we're going to be doing. So I'll preview for you. We're going to be doing a lateral lunge. I've got lots of variations on this one. If lunging is not friendly to your body, you're welcome to keep your feet planted and do more of a squat, a stationary position, side lateral squat, okay? So that's gonna be one exercise. We've got upright rows, and we have got more core work on the floor. All of them are gonna be using a weight probably from your slightly lighter set. So I'm gonna grab that uh, now for um, our first round of our lateral lunge. So I'll show you option one, lunging, focusing on legs only. So stepping out, make sure your knee is tracking over your toes and your hips are going back behind you. If that feels great, feel free to add a bicep curl at the top. So let's do eight all together. Bicep curl. By keeping the weight just in one hand, it's forcing our core to work a little bit more to have to stabilize with this offset load. So think about that how you can keep your core engaged. Woo! Okay. You know me. If you've ever <laughs> worked out with me or you've done any of my other videos, <laughs> you know I just can't possibly keep count. So my apologies on that. Stepping out, adding that bicep curl. You got this. Just a few more on this side. And I'm gonna give this one more. Woo. Okay, I've got a little noise coming from outside, so while you catch your breath, I'll close that. Grab your other weight. We're gonna do an upright row now. So may or may not be the same weights you just used for your bicep curl. Again, we just want six to eight. Don't be afraid to go heavy. The movement is like you're pulling up the covers or one of my favorite cues for this exercise is like you're flashing someone at Mardi Gras. <laughs> so gliding those weights up right in front of your torso, pinching your shoulder blades together at the back. Woo. And last one. And this is just a three exercise block. So it's gonna go really quick. So we're coming back onto the floor for core. We're gonna just Bring one weight into our hand, and I want you to imagine that you're punching the sky, and this arm is just gonna stay like this throughout the entire exercise. Knit your ribs down, press your low back into the floor, 
float those aids up to 90 degrees. From here, we're gonna rotate, let your knees drop away from the weighted arm, and then use the strength of your core to come back to center. So inhale, lower, exhale, return. And exhale. Shh. Shh. You got this. And return. Okay, other side. Reset, make that arm super long. Let those knees twist. I kind of love this one that, in the sense it feels like a stretch and a strength. So as your knees are dropping out to the side, you're getting a nice stretch, and then you really engage the core and the abs on that strength. So enjoy that. And we can slow things down a little bit here. And last one. Boom, okay. Yes. So that's your block. So we're gonna do that two more times. So great opportunity to reassess what your weights are, how you want this to feel at the end. We're getting close. All right. Let's go back to that lateral lunge. I'm gonna show you a second option. Actually, I guess I did this like first last time. Second option here is to hold at the bottom and do your bicep curl at the bottom. So adding a little bit more time under tension for that stepping leg, taking your momentum out of the movement. So asking that leg to generate power from that isometric squat, right? So again, choose your challenge. This is also demanding a little bit more of your core because you're bringing that weight up in front of you when your core, your torso is kind of leaning forward. So just adding some different elements, some different twists. So step, curl, and push off. And push. Well, since I got really sweaty in this workout, this is a good opportunity to point out all the benefits of sweating. Sweating is so good for us. It's one of the ways our body gets rid of toxins. So. I do make it a point to get really good and sweaty a couple times a week, get breathless. It's really through our exhales. I don't know if you knew this, I just learned this recently, but it's through our exhales that our body releases fat that we're burning. So get that breath going at least a few times a week, really pumping that breath through. Okay, set yourself up for your upright rows. Let's do six to eight. If you're doing six, make sure they're nice and heavy and slow and controlled. If you're going to that upper end range, I'm okay with going a little bit faster, maybe a little bit lighter. So just find that sweet spot. At the end of your set, whether it's six, whether it's eight, you should be very excited to set those weights down and take a break. Boom, that might've been nine. <laughs> and I'm very excited to set those down. Okay, here we go, torso rotations. Punch the sky, ribs down, chin down. Knees at 90. Here we go, twist and return. You got this. Inhale down, exhale, return. I have to concentrate on these so they don't <laughs> wobble over to the side. Okay, other arm, reset, inhale down, twist, and return. Oh yeah, you can feel the home stretch of this workout coming, but stay with me, okay? I know this is about the point when we all kind of start letting our mind wander to what we're gonna get to do after this. I know for me it's going to be a shower. <laughs> it's going to feel really nice. But stay with me. Stay with me. We want to focus on our best form. So it's often as we start to fatigue, we're getting to that end of the workout, we're tired, and we're starting to lose our mental focus. That's when injuries happen the most. So stay with me. Let's focus on our best form. Grab a quick sip of water. Final round. 
and then we've got a few minutes together to stretch. Okay, so grab that weight. Here we go. Stepping out. I keep forgetting what side I want to start on. This side. So choose your challenge. Either curl at the top, curl at the bottom, or just focus on the legs. Or if your legs are pooped, you can just focus on bicep curls. This is really your workout. I love time saving with combination exercises like this, but it's not always the right choice. So honor your body right now. Do what feels good for you. And make yourself proud, of course. Okay, ready? Other side. Step and curl and push. You got this. Oh yeah. I'm definitely gonna feel this tomorrow. I hope when you feel it, if you wake up in the morning and you're like, whoo, what's all that? I'm really sore. You know, soreness is not the only indicator of a good workout at all. So if you're not sore, don't worry. No judgment on it. But if you are sore, just feel proud. No matter what, soreness or not, feel proud. You've made it this far. If you're still with me in this video and you're following this routine, you're doing awesome. You've made a promise to yourself. You hit play. You gave yourself this time in your day to get stronger, to care for yourself, to do something that is for you, but also that's going to serve everyone you love and care about. Because when you're strong, when you're energized, when you're healthy, when you feel your best, that just pours out into everything else you do and everyone else you touch in your life. So know that this is absolutely not selfish time. It's a gift that you're giving yourself and everybody that you love. So carry that thought with you as you do your very best torso rotations of the day. Inhale down, exhale. Feel like you've got like a string pulling your belly button back down towards the floor. A couple more. Oh yeah. And last one on this side. Oh yeah. Okay, reset. Make sure those ribs are down. Let the knees drop. Use your core, use your abs to return to your starting position. You're doing so awesome. I'm so proud of you. I hope you leave a comment under this video. Let me know if you were sweating with me. Let me know which exercise was your favorite. Let me know if you want more workouts like these. I love hearing your feedback. All right, I'm gonna do one or two more. And last one. Boom, okay. Look at that, we're on the floor. So we might as well start our stretching on the floor. So let's cross one ankle over our other knee. Reach through, hug it in. Maybe make some circles with the ankles. Ah, smile to your body. Let your shoulders melt down. I love that expression, smile to your body. Like just give your body some love and appreciation. Let yourself feel proud of it, you know? We're sort of conditioned to pick our bodies apart and criticize ourselves and our bodies just do so much for us. So give yourself this time to smile to your body now. If you haven't switched sides, go ahead and switch. <sighs> Hug both knees into your chest. Make some little circles. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We are definitely not done yet. Roll to your side. Let's come on up to seated. Bring one leg out wide. And then let's just rotate our chest towards that extended leg and lean it forward so you can feel the stretch in your hamstring. Inhale nice and tall and then exhale. It's like use your hands almost like you're trying to pull the floor towards you this way. Yeah. Super nice. And then let's go to the other side. So rotating 
I hope you can't hear my dog barking right now, but if you can, I apologize. She's being very social with another dog outside. <laughs> so very loud, I'm sorry. If you um, have dogs at home, you understand. Okay, pull your hands in towards you. Breathe in and let it go. All right, come to cross-legged. Let's push one palm into the ground and then reach your arm like you're hugging a barrel. So I want you to apply some traction into the floor, reach around, push this hip down so you can feel that stretch across your back. And then repeat on the other side, hugging that barrel, creating lots of length. Oh yeah. Okay, and then coming into half kneeling, tuck your tailbone under, rock forward. We're stretching out the hip flexor. So stay with this for just a moment. Maybe adding this arm reaching up and over if you feel balanced. Breathing in and just letting this be a time to kind of down-regulate your nervous system too. Okay, challenge opportunity. Challenge stretch opportunity. Bring that hand down and then reach around behind you. Bend your knee if you can catch your foot or you could even use a strap or a towel or the sleeve of your sweatshirt or something to kind of wrap around your shoe and open up the quad a bit. So my quads get notoriously tight, so this is a really important stretch for me personally. We all have our areas of our body that kind of just hold on to tension. So make sure that you do what you need for your body. Woo. Okay, other side, same thing. So half kneeling, tuck that tailbone under, lean it forward, maybe take that arm up and over. Breathing in, exhaling. Just letting yourself start to feel calm. And then bring that hand down, reach up and around, catch your foot. Again, if this is accessible to you, I realize that this is kind of a, kind of a challenging position. But do what you need to do to take care of your body in this moment. Oh yeah. So finally, let's just end in a child's pose. Bring your knees wide, stretch your arms long, let your back just expand with every inhale, <sighs> and let it go. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you felt this workout was challenging and uplifting. I hope it inspired you to keep moving. Please leave a comment for me again. Let me know what you thought of this workout, how you enjoyed it. And I would love to hear from you on what kinds of workouts you'd like from, from me in the future. So thanks again.